he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, <laughs> there's so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Yay, hey, back to the dragon. Everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such <laughs> a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. I want some magic fruit, too. No one likes popular people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then how are they popular if no one likes them? It's a conundrum. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories. Especially the ones with dragons. Ah, uh, So, uh, this is actually... This part is actually different, depending on what choice you make with, uh, the dragon. So, uh... If you ring the dinner bell, then she'll hide behind the door, and when it opens up, she'll slam it back and roar back at the kid and scare him. Yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They so is there such a thing as non-magical elves? If he's specifically called out magic elves? They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll <laughs> love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious I like it, it's great. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. <laughs> I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. He was shocked. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. 
That's a lot. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. <laughs> Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... A deft maneuver, quick-witted distraction, an act of kindness even in victory. Um, I like quick-wittedness. Thinking of a problem in a different way. Finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. No, you're not. You don't know how to do anything briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. As you wish! Poor Garrett Garth, whatever his name is. Ow. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road. The <laughs> first sign of civilization. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way there, numbers. And he has a giant hamster gerbil thing for a mount. Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. That's one of the parts I'm stuck on. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Yay, parade time! So regal, so chubby. No, I'm I haven't beat it yet. I tested it out briefly. Hey, over here! I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. <laughs> it seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. At five hold gold pieces. Oh, that there was. Dang it! There was an, uh, another night. Well, did that the last time when I was t testing it out. I still don't know what he does. It's got to be like something funny, 
because a lot of times the the quest games have weird, not well, funny Easter eggs in them in certain points. Remember in one of the what was it Space Quest games, like you, saw, you would see Darth Vader, and Obi Wan having a lightsaber battle in the background, like uh, on the Death Star. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. So pretty. Where parts of this game could be an awesome screensaver. I played the uh, you know back in the old days the original Quest games. I I don't know if I ever played or finished any of the original King's Quest games. I knew of them. I did have one, at least one of the Space Quest games. I played some of the Police Quest. Beautiful artwork. So, can y'all hear the, the game music? Can you hear the game sounds fine? How is my voice compared to uh, to the game? Am I overpowering it too much? Something in that bird nest. Squirrel! I'm louder than water. Okay, well, so, as long as I'm not being drowned out. I guess since we've already seen this. Bunnies! Get the bunnies! I guess we'll go ahead and I wonder do this. What those birds needed a toolbox for? Ow. Hey, hey, well. Oh. You'd think those tools would have sunk instead of floating down the river, but okay. Shame. The only tool left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Drowned out. What? What's drowned out? Are you making reference to puns? That wheel seemed freshly broken. He's got a weird walk. Just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a ow oh, or a oh, oh! Either way, the merchant of miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits! <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material! Hey! Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait! You're stuck here with me. Every bridge is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? 